It sits on the hilltop of Hospital Road, waiting, watching, always ready to greet any person who has traveled to use the training lands it represents. It's a unique welcoming for a military installation. It almost seems like it was an afterthought. Who did this? Why was it done? Where did the idea come from? The uh, quartermaster, the post quartermaster, once the, uh, you know, the post was activated, he uh, knew that these Italian POWs were artisans, so he recruited a couple of them to uh, carve the rock. So they moved it to where it is today. And, and Librio and a friend of his you know, spent, spent the entire summer uh, carving the rock. And we had a ball because we milked that uh, project for three months. We could have done it in three days. But we said, let's, let's stay here. There was people went by and saying hello it was, bringing us drinks, you know. Over the years, this carved rock seemed to change, not in its physical appearance, but in people's perception. It's a monument. It's not, it's not the uh, Statue of Liberty. It's not Mount Rushmore, but it's a monument just like those. But it's our monument, and it represents greatness. Is it just a monument, or could it be a symbol of Atterbury Scatatuck? Waiting, watching, always ready when its country needs it. Till next time, keep rocking, Camp Atterbury, okay?